Hello, my friend. My name is Dr. Science, and this is the first episode of Nova 111 with Dr. Science. I'll show you the secrets of the unique combat in Nova 111. Unique because it combines both turn based combat and real time combat. Without further ado, let's get to the presentation. As you can see, every action, like moving, takes one turn. The creature who's chasing us also needs to obey the rules of turns. You don't have to still be in motion. You can skip the turn by simply pressing the button. But that will let the enemy approach you. Sometimes it can be useful. Like my mother once said, patience may be your weapon. The monster indicates it's going to attack in the next turn. Let's move the vessel so we won't get hit by this creature, shall we? Splendid! Now that we've managed to avoid it, it's time for a counter attack. It's still alive. Let's repeat the sequence avoid and counter attack. That's it. Show patience and tactical thinking, and you will get out of any trouble. Now, the neat part. Not all objects or enemies in Nova 111 are fans of this whole turn based thing. For example, stalactites. They start to fall right when you move beneath them. But they won't wait politely for you to make your turn. Stalactites don't care about turns. Of course, you can use it to your advantage. During your journey, you'll find many enemies attacking in real time. Attack them as soon as possible, but don't forget about your limitations caused by turns. It's just a little glimpse into what you can do in Nova 111. I'll be glad to show you more in the next episode of Nova 111 with Dr. Science. See you soon, my friend.